he was an alcoholic. He was addicted to alcohol. He had no education whatsoever, no manners whatsoever. He was one of the worst people, the worst youth in his community, in his town. And one day, he was drinking alcohol with a group of his friends and he had it. He was the only one who would hold the bottle in his hand in public and drink. This is how shameless he was. This is how low his level of morality he had at the time. So he saw that group of people, people gathering around one man who was on, on his donkey. A huge number of people gathering around him. They seemed to respect him, speak to him, and everyone wanted to, ha wanted to converse with him. So that created some curiosity. He wanted to know who this man is and why these people are so keen to speak to him. So he went there and he came close to that man and he held, or he stopped the donkey. And he said, who are you? This is how shameless he was. This is, it's that kind of character that he was. Who are you? People around said, this is a Sha'bi. This is an Imam al-Shabi. He said, who's a Shabi? Anyone doesn't know Imam al-Shabi? That's the famous scholar of Hadith. No one doesn't know him. You don't know a Shabi? He said, who's a Shabi? What does he do? They said, he's a muhaddith. He's a scholar of Hadith. Narrates the Hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He says, what does that mean? What does it mean to be a muhaddith? They told him he's someone who narrates the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He memorizes it, he teaches it, that's what he does. He said, okay, if you are a muhaddith, then narrate one hadith for me, give me a hadith. Now this Imam, and that's what the people of knowledge, oh, this is how they should be. He could read the situation and he could read that man. So he wanted to give him something suitable for him. So he narrated the hadith to him from a companion Abu Mas'ud al-Badri that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said إِنَّ مِمَّا أَدْرَكَ النَّاسَ مِنْ كَلَامِ النُّبُوَّةِ الْأُولَى إِذَا لَمْ تَسْتَحِي فَاصْنَعْ مَا شئت. If you don't have shyness, if you don't have this quality of bashfulness, then you can do whatever you wish. Because there's nothing to stop you from doing shameless things. That moment, the heart of this man was open. So the word went straight into his heart. And after that, he decided to change. He decided to change his whole life. So he left his past behind and he went to the famous Imam, Imam Malik ibn Anas, the Imam of Medina. He went to him and he studied under him and he learned hadith from Imam Malik. And this man, this very man who was an alcoholic is the teacher of Al-Bukhari and Muslim. He became the teacher of Al-Imam Bukhari and Muslim. His name is Abdullah ibn Maslam Al-Qa'nabi. Famous, one of the most famous scholars of hadith, was an alcoholic. Was someone who had no manners whatsoever, no respect for anyone, that he would drink alcohol in public. And when he studied for long years under Imam Malik, he said, I need to see the person who was the reason for me coming to this way, to guidance. So he decided to travel to Al-Basra, where Shabi was. So he goes there, as soon as he arrives, he finds out that Imam Shabi had already passed away. 